Hello, so in this video, I'll show us how we move our drawing from Revit to PowerPoint for post-processing. Before we continue, we need to create a folder where we'll be putting our files as we save them. So I go to my documents, I have my building design, and I'll create a new folder titled post-processing. If you haven't made one, I'll show you how to go about this now. So, now post processing, so I'll make one for post processing, new folder, and I'll call that post processing, post processing two, because I have one, you can call it post processing. So once we have this folder, we go back to Revit. We want to export this image without the text. So I'll select on this. Um, text, right click and say hide this by category in view. So every text is hidden now. And remember how we made our sheets here. Well, if you, if you want to export from the sheets, that's fine. I want to export from the view. Now I'll go to the, the sheets where I have my site analysis. You see that the text is no longer showing there. And then I can um, I can go to export. So file. If you have the sheet, export from the sheets. If not, export from that image that we just came from. So go to file. Click on export. Come to this arrow, and then go to images and animation, and select image. And then we go to that folder that we created. Post processing to. Select post processing to under building design and put a name for this here. So site analysis. Site analysis, I'll call it site analysis A and save. Then in this dialog box, we've taken care of the top. So come to the next point and click selected views or sheet. We'll select this sheet here. If you're doing a view, select the view. So in the selected um, sheet, look for the name. Uh, I have a site analysis. So this box should be ticked. I've clicked on it, disappeared. I click on it again, the tick. So make sure the tick is showing and then okay. Then we check the zoom to, to what size we want. Now it's 150, I can make it 200% so that it's big enough for my sheet. The next thing we'll come to the format. It should be JPEG lossless. For non shaded view, JPEG lossless. And the raster image quality we have from 72 to 600, I select 150. Then, okay. So now it will export our drawing as an image into the folder that we have selected. Right. So once this is done, we move to PowerPoint. So click here, select PowerPoint. And for the new one, we can pick any style that suits us. Um, I'm picking this presentation title and I say create. So once we have this, we can put in here sustainable office design as the title. Sustainable office design. Come over here and put your names and you say members. Give it the colon, write the name, An example, can say part and then space with the stroke. Come here and say fall 2022. Now we need to save our file. So go to this icon, save. I'm putting it in my post processing. So I have a lot of post processing here, but I know that it's in my building design, post processing too. And uh, I'm not opening, but okay, if I open this, then I can save it. Okay, so the next thing we'll do, very important to set the size of our sheet. So we'll go to design, slide size, customize it. We are using a type of paper called ANSIC, and this is 17 by 22 inches when it's landscape. So the width will be 22 and the height will be 17. Okay, landscape, landscape, and then we say, okay. So it asks us, do we want to maximize or do we want to ensure fit? When we say ensure fit, that means we can stretch our picture and change resolution. So let's say maximize. And so we have our paper in this shape. Once we do this, we can go for a um, home. 
new slide. And in this new slide, we can make it a blank sheet before we bring in the image that we saved. So we'll go to, for that image that we see, we'll go back to our folder. We'll go to our folder where we have the folder we made post-processing and we'll see our image that we saved. Right click, copy the image. And come to PowerPoint, paste it in. So we see that our image is sitting exactly on the same paper size because we set it already in uh, Revit. So once we have this paper size, we can go ahead and create the other parts like we saw and we discussed yesterday. So once this is here for the site analysis, we see that this is the sum part. So let's go to insert icons. You search for what you want here. So sun. I'm taking this type of song because we want the circular one to so insert. So we have the song. We have already marked where the song was in Revit. So all we need to do is expand this particular song. I want to make it sit on the song that was there before. And then we can change the fill color of this song. Click on it. Boom. The shape fill. Click here and select this yellow or the other yellow song also. This yellow sun. And we want to trace the sun path. So we have this uh, arc. We click here. And we drag, drag the arc to be over there. Then we will come to this middle here and drag it. We drag this middle to make our arc more curvy. This this arc. It's stopping here, so I'll come to this orange and drag it, drag it, and make it fit with the, the image is moving, so Control Z. If I select the image and right click, then we can lock it. So the other ways we would have grouped it, but we click on the, the line and then go to outline, click outline, select this yellow color, on the outline, we can change the width of the line, can make it as fat as uh, six to show the path. And then that part is not a fixed solid line. So come back to outline, dashes, and let's make it a dashed line to show the path of the sun going across the side. I'll bring it to sit on this other line there. And so we have our sun path. So let's get something for the wind. Go for insert again, insert icons. And then type in wind. And we have this showing up. Wind. Um, I don't like any of these uh, things showing up. So let me look for, I think, something wavy. So if I say wave, no. Mm, let's say ripple. Mm. Wavy. Okay. I'm gonna say curve. So look out for something that we like. Curve. Okay. So go for a general search now. It says the accessibility, animals, apparel, arts. So in arts, will I see something curvy for my wind? I scroll down. Mm. Let's show. This is buildings, landscape, nature and outdoors. Hmm. Let me try air. Okay, we can use arrows. So let's pick on these arrows the same. John Cos. Okay, we can use this for the wind direction. Use arrows and set. So we'll drag it to the west, like we said, and we can copy it three times to show. So let's set it first. This one, strong wind is coming from the side. And, and it's cold wind because it's coming also in December and June. So if we go to home. Let's shift the fill color to some sort of blue. 
build as visible and then we take control c copy control v paste i'm copying it and i'm control v paste again mm -hmm. so you can drag it to show that we have the wings coming in okay then remember our right up in class what are the things we observed on our site the advantages and disadvantages we'll start putting in start by putting in the sun and the wind then right up so i click on text that is this text box here remember you're on the home text box and then we type in the winds strong winds from the west now this um font style is your you choosing your group what kind of font style you would prefer and you can make it bold to read stronger choose the size of the font check the size of the font with your drawing and maybe 24 is fine so that it doesn't and then we drag it so that we can read it once you set the first text you can copy and edit it any other place so my century jury got tick 24 so if i selected the box ctrl c and then ctrl v it's pasted there all we need to do is drag it to where the sun is and then we'll say um the sun rises in the east so early let me just say morning sun sun at sight this will show us that okay the sun rises this way and this is how the shadow forms in the morning then um, if i take an example from our write up on the site many people if you see this um, sheet that's all we discuss is like the advantages the disadvantages of uh, around that site so people talk about trees blocking shading the sun so if i come back to my site I can talk about these trees here. So if I do control V and I drag it again to where the trees are. I'll say um, trees close to close to building. And this doesn't shield my building because the wind's coming from the west direction. I can just stop the trees close to building. But if the building was and the trees were shading the building, I would write that. Or oh, we won't say close, or we can just say trees near building, near building. So I'll take that off. Okay. And the next thing we talk about uh, representing sound. So if I go to the icons also, I can look for a symbol for sound. And I see these ones. Okay. I'd, I'd like to use this circular icon show our sound travels from the road because we said this highway is transporting sound into the site we pick a color it doesn't have to be a particular color the fill color mm, for sound mm, purple, purple. control copy control v so to show sound um, making it look like it's traveling and also i will adjust the size so this first one will be bigger than the second one, and the second one is going to be bigger than the third one. I'll control V, I'm copying it again and pasting it, and then I'm also reducing the size so it looks like a step of sound shows that as the sound comes into the size, it gets smaller. Next thing to do is to provide text to see that con um, sound from vehicular traffic is getting to the site. So this, this describes it that the sound, the sound from vehicular traffic. And, then, and the two very important things we need to add here are the, the notes, direction, and also the names of the, the road by the site. So I'll go back to my drawing in Revit and I'll select sites. I put all the text before, okay, well now it's showing. So I want to write Blue Star Memorial Highway and I show my entrance. So back to the PowerPoint file. 
I have this uh, text, a control copy, and um, I think it moved now, so control Z and move back there. So control copy, control V, and I'll take this to the Road Blue Star Memorial Highway. Blue Star Memorial Highway. I want to make it on a straight line and drag this and sit it on the path. So the next thing we want to show our knots arrow. So go back to the icons again. Icon and type in knot. So we can pick this. Insert and then drag it up so it's in the corner here and I can increase it a bit to show that this is the knot. So copy the text and then paste it. So I'm gonna edit it and type knot. So this is our site analysis. Now the next thing we want to do, let me look at the template I provided in the class. Now so site analysis um, template, that was yesterday, 17. So group template. So we have group, the site analysis, then uh, uh, programming of the site. Then we talk about strategies. So, so we have the next sheet, make it blank, layout blank. Then go for the picture that we saved. Copy, copy that picture again. Come back to the file and paste. So on this sheet now, we want to do some programming because we know we have analyzed it here. We know the, the quiet areas. We know where there will be sound. And so we'll then write in drawing boxes to show the areas, the zoning of the activities. So select the, we we'll use the box to zone. So in this area, I'm drawing a box and I say quiet area, choose the I, E, T, I guess. Quiet area. So on, on one thing we need to note is that when we pick a, a font size style, we stick to it, use the same fonts for all your sheets so that it's uniform. And I made it bold in the other text. And make this bold here, quiet area, and I'm going to reduce to 24. I used 24 there, introduce space here, quiet area. So with this box now, we can change the color, use different colors to code the areas of the site and then use that to reflect in your programming sheet. So quiet area, and I might make it um, sort of bluish area. And then the outline, I can make it thicker and then give it some kind of dashes. So I'm do control copy, control V, and I'll call this the noisy area. And then some other, any other features that you have on the side. So this I can change the color to something reddish or pinkish, pick a color, and then do some other ideas that you have. We talked about the three things, advantages and disadvantages of the site. So use this to, I'm, I'm selecting the box again, central copy, and I can paste it and I'm saying uh, trees. These trees uh, provide privacy. 
from the residential areas behind me, not to leave it there and I'll put in a new color. They select it, go to the fill. Mm. I'm using a greenish color trace. So this is that page will do the programming for the site. So once we do this in the next class, we'll go ahead and do our bubble diagram and a circulation diagram. Thank you for watching.